For more videos, visit ForTheSakeOfEducation.com Alright guys, let's do this problem where it says replace the loading by an equivalent resultant force on a couple moment acting at O. So we have two triangular forces, uh, they're both symmetrical. And the equivalent force acts at one third from the one third from the tall edge of the triangle. So the distance from here to here, since we're measuring from O, will be six feet because one third of nine feet is three feet. So this is six feet, two thirds. And the distance from here to here will be this lever arm right here. This distance will be nine feet plus three feet, which would, which would be 12 feet. So let's call this F. Let's just call it F because they're both the same. You can tell that both triangles are the same. So F is equal to 50 pounds per foot times how many feet? Nine. The length of the triangle is nine over two because it's a triangle and the area of a triangle is given by the width times the height over two. And it comes out to be 225 pounds. Now we have an F going down and an F going up. So let's call this one F1 and this one F2. F1 is equal to negative 225 pounds and F2 is equal to 225 pounds. So as you can tell, FR is equal to zero pounds. They cancel out. However, there is a moment because they're both apply at different spots on this uh, piece of wood or whatever it is. Let's say counterclockwise is positive. The moments at O equal 225 times F1 turns the lever arm, this lever arm down, so it's clockwise, so that would be negative, and it's six feet. F2 turns this longer lever arm counterclockwise, so it's positive, so it's positive 225 times the length of the second lever arm, which is 12. So when you calculate this, you get that the moment about O is equal to 1350 foot pounds, since it's positive, it's counterclockwise. Final answer. So the resultant force is zero, and the cable moment acting at O is 1350 foot pounds. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems, and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.